Hey y'all, Caitlin here. I'm gonna talk to you today about all the different tools and things that you need so that you will be the most successful when you're cooking. Because when we first learn how to cook, we don't always have the stuff we need. Now, you don't always need all of these things. These are just the things that I suggest and that you're gonna see me using a lot. First, you're gonna see me using a skillet quite a bit. So this is a smaller skillet that I like to use. And then I have this slightly larger one here that I really like. You'll notice that most, everything rather here, does not have that kind of Teflon nonstick coating on it. I really don't like that coating. Uh, I just feel like it can break down and can create a lot of nasty chemicals that could leach into your food. Maybe that's not true. I don't like it personally, so I stick with these things that are stainless. So we start with these two skillets. The other thing you're gonna see me use a lot is this other pan that's actually, it's deep, so it can actually hold uh, liquid in it. I think this, believe this is a four quart, which I really like. You can find ones that don't have this handle on it and that have a second handle that's like this on the side, but really you wanna make sure that these are all oven safe, that they can go in the oven. That's the other one I like to use a lot. And then of course I have my classics. I have a small sauce pot with a lid on it. That's gonna be helpful for making sauces, as you might expect. And then a slightly larger pot, again with a lid, for boiling water and for cooking some of our veggies in. And then, of course, it's always good to have a nice large stock pot. This one, you may or may not be able to see, has some numbers on the inside through there. That'll help you know exactly how much water is in there. Could be hard to see. But this is another really good one, a stock pot. And if you don't have one of these, for a lot of recipes you can, in fact, replace and use this pot instead. That's it for those pots. Another piece of equipment you might wanna have is a food processor. This is just a small one. If you have a small one, that's fine. You will just uh, you know, use it in smaller batches for your food. But this can be a really great one to just smooth some things out and make some nice sauces. Also got back here, this is our crock pot that we love, one of our slow cookers. Definitely use this. This is really good for batch cooking. Back up here, I of course have my handy uh, measuring cup for my water or for any kind of liquids. These are called ramekins. These are just nice little bowls to use for all kinds of uses. A Couple of glass bowls, which are nice as well. These are also uh, microwave safe. Measuring cups, you have to have your measuring cups, full set of those, and of course, your measuring spoons. I like having wooden tools. I have some wooden spoons and things that I like to use. I, I don't know why I love wood, so prefer that. Then I have a nice thin spatula. That is one of my favorite tools. I think you'll probably see me using this almost more than anything else. I have my tongs that I like and three knives. There are those who will say you need way more than three knives, but this is really what I cook with. And honestly, this is the knife I cook with more than anything else or that I, that I use more than anything else because for me, it works well in my hand and it's a nice balance. So you can see with the length of the knives, this is gonna be a paring knife. This is one of those bigger butcher knives. And honestly, I don't know what this one is. Um, but this is this kind of mid-sized knife is, is my favorite. So those, that's a basic rundown of the tools that are gonna help you be the most successful and get the most out of your recipe. As I said, you don't have to start with all these tools, but it would be a good thing to get these eventually. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time.